it's going so what we figuring out right now is crunchy black coming out saying that back on december 21st that the real dudes that ran out the back door makita's got caught and that they got they actually been locked up for a minute and they the ones that snitched on straight drop yes that's what's going on so basically crunchy black came on uh on somebody's page when he got an interview that day and he he so, told everything and what happened is that crunchy black nephew is the ones who ran out the back door he knows them and that's why he crunchy black be known everything because he actually related to the dudes that ran out the back door and apparently one of them or so or both of them had got caught up and had snitched on straight drop to say that he was the one that did it. And so it's it's really a big mystery because it leaves one person that could be that they're trying to uh, that could actually did it in that they're not trying, which is Maurice. If Maurice is the one that did it, then it makes sense that he has all these dummies take the fall for it and snitch on each other because they all part of the plot. And that he, nobody said nothing about him when he's the one with the most messed up storylines that don't match up. His car is there, witnesses seen him, but he's saying he ain't even drive up till after the fact. He's saying some guy beaten on the walls because he he locked in the he locked in the lobby. That's why that somebody was beaten on the wall. He said he he shot the place up himself. So you know that it, it's a. It's a lot to it, and we just breaking down all these things right now. Um, so another thing that came out is that after Crunchy Black uh, decided to do that interview, now it's going around on DJ Academic that, um, you know, this news is, why didn't they say nothing about the two dudes getting locked up back in December? Why didn't they say nothing uh, for a month? They didn't say nothing in them press conferences. They didn't say nothing on anything. And another thing that I want to uh, bring out is that who started the thing that said Dolph was shooting back? What? Because they didn't recover any weapons, they said. You didn't see no shell casings. And somebody tried to say it's 54 shell casings outside. That's a lie. Because if you look at that new witness video of the dude in the blonde tip dreads the little kid teenager that's filming you he actually walked up on the concrete to see his Dolph and there is no shell casings on the ground at all so that's what I'm trying to tell y'all so close sources out in Memphis are saying that the PRE dudes got the chains back for sure remember I was telling you about how the uh Snoop Band's cousin uh, he set he set up uh, the whole thing to have them come dripped out, uh, thinking they're gonna shoot a music video, and they had the chains on, and he acted like he was just some nerdy camera guy, and he pulls up, and and they ain't know he was on demon time, <laughs> so basically it's confirmed now from the official source sources that them chains did get back to the rightful owners, and uh, man, that's a story that I actually broke out first, so that that's good that that was said um and that that's done now that they got their chains back because it's showing that more pre people are now coming out of the um you know they they are done mourning now and the, the sorrow and you know that time is over with now it's really time to, to to fight for Dolph and to really get back to to the times where you know things were money was coming in consistently you know it's a lot of stuff that that was revolving around Dolph and that they had this these past couple months all the PRE guys had to figure out how to run um all the distribution stuff for themselves for all their records so you know now that they got all that taken care of and they're done mourning you know now all the PRE guys they drop it they're working on their newest album newest mixtapes is everybody's doing a tribute song Big Moochie Grapes about to come out with one I just heard the snippet and it's fire I'm about to post the, the video for it tomorrow. And basically, um, we already seen what Key Glock posted, Gucci Man and Dirt coming out. Um, it's that PRE 1017 OTF uh, connection that's about to go down. So you heard it here first where, like I said, because Dolph is from Chicago and Gucci Man is really like, 
you know, carrying on uh, Dolph's legacy as far as far as like the big, big time artists, like the public ones. Right. And he's carrying on that legacy of what was already going to be a PRE 1017 collab. And now, you know, they're getting dark into the movement with it with, with OTF because uh, Young Dolph is from Chicago and it's a lot of his Chicago people that are actually advocating saying yeah go ahead and do that otf pre connection and you know let 1017 bring it all together and so that is why you're seeing a lot of key glock gucci main songs you're seeing a lot of gucci main pre artist songs coming out i think they're about to do an entire mixtape like a like one of them old school mixtapes they're about to do like a a, a down south mixtape uh, or an album, some kind of stream. It, could, it might come out as a as a dolphin NFT or something. But um, no, that's like some some insider information is saying that they're all making some big business moves for for the Dolph family right now because Makita's never gave them nothing when they got all those donations and all that GoFundMe. They never gave nothing back to the Dolph family. It wasn't confirmed yet. So. Basically, all the artists now, once they got their stuff together, they, they are out here making a big collab, big mixtapes. Proceeds going to the Dolph family. They're going to make sure Dolph kids taken care of. That's for sure. They're going to make sure, you know, all the plans that he had to fulfill, they're going to end up getting fulfilled. So everybody's in with it now going forward that is going to be, uh, L, you know, long live Dolph, LLD type of style. Um, you know, you might as well go ahead and, uh, you know, b see people get tatted up with, um, little like murals and stuff like that artwork, just like they did for Nipsey. See a lot of that stuff happening and no, that's all good. That's all positive. As long as you keeping it good with the positive energy, I'm liking where it's going with that. I'm liking where the music is at right now. Nobody should be coming out, um, you know, with any type of negative vibe. So you want to, you want to just remember who's looking down on you uh, and keep it that way. So, yeah. So stay tuned for, for that, uh, big Moochie grape, uh, Dolph tribute that's coming out tomorrow. So come back and make sure you subscribe to the channel and like share and comment. All right. Peace.